Photoshop is the only image editor in history to have its name turned into a verb. To Photoshop a picture means to edit it. GIMP doesn't exactly enjoy the same level of name recognition, but it's still popular. So how do they compare in terms of capability? The very short answer is that Photoshop is leaps and bounds ahead of GIMP. It has more powerful features, better support, and a huge community of users who can help if you run into trouble. If you need a professional quality image editor, Photoshop is the perfect solution. Photoshop costs $9.99 per month as part of the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription and comes bundled with Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, Photoshop for iPad, and 20 GB of cloud storage space. You can sign up for a free trial or watch on to see more comparisons. GIMP stands tall in one area. It's entirely free and open source, which means that anyone can examine the code and even develop their own improvements. It has a decent set of basic image editing tools, but also has a few issues that mean it might not be the best choice for an editor. Watch my full GIMP review for more. GIMP vs Photoshop head-to-head -head comparison as you'd expect for image editors the most important thing to compare is how well they can actually edit your image but with so many different reasons for editing an image we'll have to zoom in a bit to do a proper comparison selection tools one of the most common image editing tasks is editing just a small section of an image in order to do that you often have to use selection tools to define the area you want to edit this makes them one of the most important tools to get right when it comes to manual selection tools like rectangles and ovals gimp and photoshop perform about the same they both come with a good range of options and they are both responsive while you're working with them the real difference is show when you start looking at the automatic selection tools selecting a product box on a white background is easy to do by hand but selecting individual strands of hair on your model by hand will drive you crazy almost instantly automatic tools to the rescue Dealing and cloning, another extremely common editing job is hiding or duplicating elements of your image. When you need to fix a zit in a selfie or stop someone from photobombing your family reunion snapshots, dealing and cloning tools help you patch things up while still looking realistic. Automatic adjustments. One of the biggest new trends in software development is that everyone wants to include tools powered by artificial intelligence, AI. A lot of the time these claims are just marketing buzz. But Adobe has just launched some incredible AI tools lately that you have to see to believe. Photoshop CC 2021 includes a new set of tools called Neural Filters which use machine learning to apply powerful adjustments to your images with just a few simple sliders. GIMP doesn't offer anything even remotely similar. Common Image Formats Both GIMP and Photoshop handle all the common types of image files like JPG, PNG, GIF, and TFF files. Photoshop uses the proprietary PSD format to save more complex files but GIMP is one of few programs that can also open and save the PSD format. REW Photo Editing High-quality cameras save their photos using a special format type known as REW because it contains the raw image data directly from the camera sensor. Each manufacturer has its own method of creating REW files, so it's important to check that your image editor is compatible. Photoshop uses a built-in processor called Camera REW to open and process your REW files. You can make non-destructive edits like white balance, contrast, and lens distortion corrections. Then your image opens immediately in Photoshop for additional pixel editing. User Interface Photoshop's interface can be overwhelming at first, but GIMP can feel the same way to new users. Photoshop allows you to customize the location of every panel, pop-up, and tool window. Plus, you can save different configurations and switch between them easily. GIMP used to have a painfully bad interface by default, but the latest update has made a huge improvement. You can customize the location of some panel elements, but not everything, and there's no way to set up multiple workspace styles. Learning the software Learning a new program is often challenging, especially when they're complex and powerful. It's extremely helpful to have on-screen hints and guides, as well as a lot of online resources like tutorials and support forums. Photoshop is famously difficult to learn, but recently Adobe has been working hard on integrating hands-on tutorials and guides available directly in Photoshop from the Help menu. These will open all the files you'll need for the tutorial without having to download anything else. Price, last but certainly not least is the question of price. This one is an easy win for GIMP since it is entirely free open source software, and it always has been. The developers donate their time to the project because they love working on it, which is quite admirable and must be appreciated. Photoshop is only available from Adobe as part of a monthly Creative Cloud subscription which costs $9.99. It used to be available with a perpetual license, where you buy it once for a huge price like $700 and that version is yours forever. But that option was phased out several years ago. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.